Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can migrate content from SharePoint on-prem, network or local file share in SharePoint Online and OneDrive. I'll show you every step how you can achieve this goal by using the SharePoint migration tool. Okay, let's get started. Here I am on my PC and I have office.com open. First of all, we have to open the SharePoint Admin Center because it's from there that we will have the ability to install the SharePoint migration tool. All I need to do here is click on the admin icon. This will drop me in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Clicking on the link show whole, I am able now to click on SharePoint. And now I am in the SharePoint Admin Center. You will find here on the left navigation panel migration. Let's click on it. And now from here you have an overview about all possibilities that you have to migrate your content in Microsoft 365. Let's start to explore one by one. I will start with the SharePoint migration tool. This tool can be installed on a machine where you want to run the migration. This powerful tool allows you to migrate content from SharePoint on-prem, network and local file shares. But what if you have a lot of data to migrate and you need to speed up this process? The answer is Migration Manager. This fills the gap with the SharePoint migration tool. In fact, with Migration Manager, you have a flexible way to install the tool on several clients, schedule tasks in order to run the migration process from several clients and then migrate your content into Microsoft 365. Migration Manager is limited to file shares, but the target is to cover SharePoint on-prem as well. The third option that we have here is called Mover. And Mover, it helps you to migrate content from other cloud services to Microsoft 365, like Dropbox, Google Drive, and so on. Okay, let's start to install the SharePoint migration tool. Then let's click on download SharePoint migration tool. And from here, you can save and run the setup.exe in order to start the installation of this tool. I just installed SharePoint migration tool. All I need to do now is to run this app. And here we go, I will click on it. And now I have to perform the login for my Microsoft 365 environment. Okay, I performed the login and I have the first option that allows me to start my first migration. Below I have several information related to Migration Manager that I mentioned before. Okay, let's click on Start your first migration. This dropped me on this page where I have three options. I can migrate content from SharePoint Server, FileShare or JSON or CSV file for bulk migration. Let's start to migrate some content that I have on my local PC, so I will choose FileShare. But before to do it, let me clarify this third option, JSON or CSV. I have here a new tab opened in the browser. And as you can see here, we have some samples how you can use a CSV file where you have to put the source, destination, doc library name and optional subfolder. This is how it looks like the CSV file. Below we have another sample with a JSON file. We have tasks and below we have source path, target path, target list, target list, relative path and so on. This is how you can build your JSON or CSV file in order to create multiple tasks. I am back in the SharePoint migration tool. Let me select now file share and I will target now my folder that I want to migrate in Microsoft Teams. So I will select C and this will be my folder. Okay, below you have to decide if you want to migrate selected folder and folders contents or only folder contents. I want to migrate the folder as well. Then I will go forward by clicking on next. Here you have to target if you want to migrate content in Microsoft Teams, SharePoint or OneDrive. I will target Teams. And then here if you click on the search box, automatically this will load all your Teams that you have available. And now from here I will target this team, Marketing. Here you can even select which channel. I have just one channel here. And clicking on this arrow allows me to create an additional folder if I want. But it's fine, so I will select the general channel of the marketing team. Then let's click on next. 
Now I am here this summary page where I can see my activities. Okay, I want to add another task. Let me click on add another migration. So here again, file share. I will target always my temp folder under C and then on next. This time I want to target OneDrive. Here you can add your email address. Then next. Finally here you can choose the location if this will be the documents folder or if you want to target other folders. Okay, it's fine. So I will target documents and then next. Now I have two tasks created. Here I can decide the name of this migration so I can reuse it later. If I have other things to do, I can save for later. But let's move forward and I will click on next. Here we have basic settings. We can decide to have only perform scanning Reserve file share permissions, which is very cool, and migrate file version history, automatic user mapping, and now I can click even if view old settings, and this open this panel that show me additional functionality and settings. I can even filter file in a specific folder, migrate files created after, migrate files modified after and so on. Migrate OneNote folder as OneNote notebook, replace invalid file name characters, and below here we have the advanced section. Here I can run once or run up to five successive times. SharePoint migration tool, working folder, and you can even select another folder. Use custom Azure storage if you want to perform a more advanced content migration processes. Okay, it's time to click now on the save button and I am ready now to migrate my content. So let's click on the button migrate. Okay, the migration is completed. So I have very few files in the folder, but I can click on the view reports and this open the Windows Explorer by giving me the chance to open this CSV file. I can have a report of my migration. I can see the first task when I migrated the folder in Teams and the second task where I migrated the folder in OneDrive. Let's close now this Windows Explorer window and now I can decide if I want to save this migration. If I click Save, I can now click on Start New Migration and if I go back in the first welcome page, as you can see, I save it now this migration and I can reuse this migration. I can run an incremental migration, which is very cool because if I have additional files that I added later, I can click on this link and this will migrate only new files in the folder. I am in Microsoft Teams now. Let's navigate through marketing team and in the files tab of the general channel, we can see that this folder is migrated. If I click on this folder, all files are in. Here I am in OneDrive now, and I have this folder just migrated, temp. Clicking on it, I can see all files contained. it. Let's see now how it works Migration Manager. If you click on View Tasks, you can access to the Migration Manager contained in the Migration page of the SharePoint Admin Center. So if you click on the button Get Started, you will be able to install an agent, which is a tool on your machine. Now if I click on the tab Agents, I already performed this step and as we can see this agent is up and running on my machine. So imagine that now you have multiple clients which is very cool because you can see this agent where is running in which machine so you can work with multiple machine and speed up the migration. Okay let's click now on tasks. I am ready to create one task. So I will select add task and now I can select the method single source and destination bulk migration. Let's go with single source and destination. Let's click on next and now you have to add the file share. Let's say that I have this file share. So then let's go on next and from here I have to select the destination. So I will select again teams next. And from here, I have the list of all my teams. Then I will select guests this time. And finally, the channel. I can even create a folder if I want. But let's target the general channel. Okay, let's move forward. 
And here we have exactly the same settings that we have seen before. Now I have to define the name of this task, Project X. So I can click on Run Now, and this drop me in the file share migration summary. So always in the tasks, I have now this new task just created. I have the source, the destination, and the status queued. When it's completed, the status will change accordingly. Now we are assuming that I have to migrate content from a cloud service into Microsoft 365. The tool that you need is Mover. And always from this page, all you need to do is click on the Go to Mover. Let's click on it. This will open a new tab, and here we have this website, mover.io. If you scroll a little bit down, you can find the button Migrate Now. Let's click on it. And now here I am in this page. I already granted access to my Google Drive and to my OneDrive for business. So I can target the source and the destination and I can schedule the task in order to migrate content. Let's say that I want to add a new connector. All I need to do is click on Authorize New Connector. And here you can see the list of all possibility. We can migrate content from Amazon, from Azure Blob Storage, Box, Dropbox, Ignite, G Suite, Google Cloud Platform, Google Drive, from Office 365 to another Office 365 tenant, and finally OneDrive. Going back now, I can set up the Google Drive by clicking on Connect. I am now able to see and list all content in my Google Drive account. I can do the same for OneDrive or Business. Clicking on the button Connect, I'm able now to see all content stored in OneDrive. And now if I don't select nothing here on the left in the source, I am assuming that I am migrating all content in Google Drive, as you can read here. Every root file and folder this user own will be copied. And if I click on the button Start Copy, all content from Google Drive will be moved into OneDrive for Business. Okay, we have seen in this tutorial how to migrate content in SharePoint Online by using the SharePoint Migration tool. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is exactly how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!